Hi YouTube, it's Mark from Hoverdog Brewery. Welcome to a brew day. So today I've decided to make some beer because I had one beer left and it kicked two days ago. I have no homebrew. Yes, I've bought too much beer from commercial breweries and I've been drinking that. But now the weather's getting better. It says that today's blooming freeze, it's about three degrees. The shed is eight degrees, so it's really cold. Um, but I'm brewing today, so I'm going to make a, another Nipah style. It, it's just really a hop forward, sort of juicy ish beer. Uh, it's not really Nipah because uh, ABV, look at the screen, I can't see it now, but it's about 4.3 or 4.8. It, it's not very strong, okay? What I want to do is we, we've got some new furniture uh, on a bit of decking, and I want to just sit there in the sun having a nice drinkable beer. Okay, one well, that's you new, know, hop forward, as I said, juicy, oh, lovely. I made one last year and it was terrific. I'm not going to remake that. There was a few tweaks and yeah, I could do it again, but I've got loads of new hops I need to use. So this will be a brew day. Just put the uh, water on to heat up for the, uh, for the mash. So I'll come along. Well, you come along and I'll show you how the brew day goes. So that's brew day over, um, I'll probably make this into a grain to glass so you should see me taste it in a minute. So as you can see uh, it's on the bench and um, we got just over 15 litres. I was going to try and put it in my little fermenter but it, well, it would have had so little room for the crowds and that I didn't want to risk it so it's in here. It's about 50 degrees at the moment, centigrade. Um, Today is about six degrees. Uh, shape was eight. It's up to ten because I've been brewing. The wind chill is absolutely crazy out there. So I could leave it outside, out of the sun, down the side of the house, or I might just leave it in the shed for a few more hours and it will cool down. Fermentation fridge is on, so that'll be good. Yeast today, not quite sure what to use. Uh, I've got a couple in the fridge below you. So I've got, I've got some. Oh, so I've got the Cross My Louvre Haze, which I've used before, good results. I've got a Hog Norse Cross My Louvre. Not sure about that one. I might try it in a different beer. And I've got the Cross My Louvre 5, which is equivalent of Safail USO5, although I found it wasn't as dry, slightly fruitier where USO5 can be very, very dry. In fact, well, it is dry. So I might go for Haze. I've got three packs of that. So I'm not quite sure. Uh, probably 
I won't do a starter, it'll be straight in, just like usual. Right, okay, well, good, bad and ugly. Uh, good, well, it was all good. Bad, nothing, ugly, absolutely nothing. I had a brilliant day, very short, 30 minute boil. It's been good, so we're now on 2.40 p.m. I only started about half 10. I think that's been a pretty good brew day, all cleaned up. Right, I'll see you in a few, well, in a few seconds for the grain to glass. Right, we're doing a bit of a closed transfer. It's a bit of a, a faff thing, right? So I've got my fermenter up there. What I've done, I've heated up a bit of flexible pipe. And it goes down. I know there's a bit of air in there, don't worry. <sighs> Comes round. And there's a 3 8 pipe in there. And that goes on to the outfitting. I've primed it with CO2 already and I've got the, the vent open. So it's slowly going in and it is slow. So um, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Hi YouTubers. Well, I'm back. Grain to glass. This is the Golden Retriever 4% Nipah style beer. It's not Nipah, Nipah style. Right. Well, aroma, definitely getting some aroma. Um, it smells like actually like a slight bit of citra and more mosaic. I'm not getting anything else. And there's not enough of it. And I can't smell anything. Yeah, well, you've had the COVID. I can't say it's really cold. Pray too cold. It is cold. Right. There's virtually no bittering, which is what I wanted. Good mouthfeel. It's alright, it's not watery. Could do with a bit more body to it. It's not bad. Um tastes lovely, yeah. very fruity. Say what else would you say? It's fruity. I think it could do, it, it's got something missing for me, something more whirlpool hops or very late hops and more dry hopping. That's what I think it needs. But that's only because of the style of beer I've been drinking recently. Commercial beer. If it was a lot warmer it would be an amazing drink just to sit here in the sun. A lot warmer the beer or the no, weather? the weather. <laughs> the weather. It's warm, but it's not piping hot. It would be so good just to sit here. On take one, it was sunny. Yeah. It's just bright <laughs> now. And the, and the cat's gone now. And the birds have gone, because we were allowed. It's a bit quieter now. Yeah. yeah. Right, anyway. What would you give it out of ten? Eight. That's generous. Give it a ten. Definitely give it an eight. No. <laughs> I'd give it a seven. If I went into a pub, and I've served this, I won't be disappointed. No. Even though I think it needs a bit more late hops, maybe Whirlpool and a bit more dry hopping. Pops a bit more citra, probably. It's still probably try and charge £4.50 a pint. You five pound round corner. Not bad. It has calmed down slightly since I brewed it. It's been in a keg for about three weeks now. And when I first got it, it had a weird back end taste which is one of the grains I couldn't actually work out which one but it is cloudy it's not, maybe not the logo in the way colour wise it's like a bit like straw clean isn't it really mm. not like in your face orange but still not bad right mm. I saw a rapid up here so this is Mark from Hofdog Brewery signing off and as always Stay thirsty. <laughs> you might smell it first. Get the mosaic on it. I'll get anything else though. Taste delicious. Mouthfeel isn't bad. Quite a good mouthfeel. Not watery, is it? No. Not at all. It's not overly bitter. In fact, there's very little bitter in it. 
very refreshing. It's like a little menagerie, isn't it? These birds were a menagerie for birds. Well, they want it. What is it called? Birdery. An aviary. An aviary, that's it. That's a menagerie then. <laughs> right, echoing. Oh, God, I can't take this again, can I? <laughs> Cats here.